In this cross of fundamental series, I will demonstrate how to create surfaces out of curves which are made in Rhino model space. This tutorial consists of three parts and each show you how to apply divided surfaces, isotrim, offset surface and surface morph to different types of surface. Let's take a look. I've listed three commonly used surface types from my personal experience. I'll show you the differences between these surfaces by creating them in Rhino and Grasshopper. So first I'll spread them apart just to get enough space for the nose. So first of all, edge surface. So edge surface will require four different curves. So I'll type edge surface so I create curve A, B, C, D in Rhino modeling space. I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll use, it doesn't really matter which line types that you go for. In this tutorial, I'll use control point curve since it will give you more dynamic result. So I'll, just like before, I'll drop four points, I'll drag it down, drag this point up. So it has got three dimensional depth. So now copy this, paste, drag it across. And I'll change the section by rotating it. Didn't do much, I'll drag it up. And I'll copy these two to complete four sides by rotating it. So you have four different shapes that are placed and a four different size and I'll drag it up to give a variation. You could even move it laterally by dragging it side. We need parameters to contain these four curves. So type curve. Copy this four times. And I'll select them carefully from right, anti-clockwise, bottom, left, and up. Sorry, select the wrong one. And the one at the top. And feed this first curve to A, B, C, and D. See that? It just completed a double curved surface. So let me just play with it. So if you drag it down, you'll notice that the surface has changed the shape. You can drag it in. Since the curve boundary has been defined by four different curves, you try to find the mean value between this edge and that edge corner and it will arbitrarily draw a line somewhere in the middle to complete the surface. I'll drag it back to where it was. It doesn't matter whether these four curves are touching each other. In fact, you could, you could take this one curve out to create a triangle. Since it has got four nodes, you can make a four side dove curve surface. So I will apply divide surface which are commonly used technique when it comes to subdividing the surface. So I'll type divide surface. Let's take a look at this node in particular. It requires surface, U count, V count. If you're not familiar with definition of U and V on the surface definition. U means that, let's take plan view as a view example. So U means that you take one corner and you run it to the X direction rep which represent U and, and Y direction which represent V but in three dimensional manner. So these are mapped on the surface, whereas UMV on a plane is on a, on a plane, flat plane. If you analyze the surface, 
which this component partially do, it will give you the points, which is the center point of each segregated surfaces. Normals will give you factor information of each cell plane and parameters will give you the each data, the num numeric data of the of the cells. So let's connect this to surface here. You can define number of UMV count. You feed the slider there and you feed that to there. You could e you could you could even copy and paste of the slider and feed it separately. You see that V count increases number in a horizontal axis and you increase the u segregation and the u direction so that's a short intro to umv on surface so i'll keep it to 15 or somewhere around 14. okay so next i will use normals which is effective information to create a line that project perpendicular to each surfaces cellular surfaces type line so if you type line there are a number of different types of lines that you can draw this time because we have a vector information i will use a line sdl which takes a starting point we know the starting point is at each of these points. Normals are the direction of information, the vector information. Length, I give arbitrary number, 100. You can slide it down, see that numbers increase, as the number increases, the length increases. And I'll pipe this to give a bit of visual depth. Okay, so we just created a spiky surface and, and this will parametrically controllable. You move these two and like I said, if you increase the number, we get more dense outcome. 